Number four, Verona. Number one, Highland Springs. Let's get this party started, right? What a football game. We join it late in the first quarter, 7-7 after an Isaiah Page touchdown. And then an interception return for a touchdown by Highland Springs. Bobby Dunn's only thrown four picks going into this game. Throws another one there with lead to this. Fading from the Verona defense's view, Jamari Jones with a touchdown around Highland Springs up 14-7 after the pick from Damon Harrison. Third quarter, same score. Bobby Dunn, he's not done. Finds his big time receiver, big play, Barry Hill. That's good for first down at the 25. It would lead to this. We've seen these running plays all year. Could Highland Springs stop it? Well, Brunn had 333 yards of offense, and that run by Bryson Ross led to Isaiah turning the page. You can see the football just break the plane. Touchdown, blue. Devils extra point would be good to be 14 off but ensuing kickoff my goodness Highland Springs check out the blocking they can beat you in so many ways Laquan Betty gonna take it all the way to the house and just like that just when Verina has a punch Highland Springs has a counter punch just when Verina equalizes it Verina gets the kick return for a touchdown it would have a 21 14 lead Highland Springs in front, but Verina with a big play capability. Isaiah turned the page with three touchdowns on the night. This was a big one. Bobby Dunn goes long distance. Page, the recipient, and the touchdown. They would have their extra point blocked, however, so Highlands brings up 21-20. But Verina's defense would buckle down when it mattered most. Again, they only held Highland Springs to 155 yards of total offense. Alonzo Ford, a big reason for that. How about number four? Barry Hill playing on both sides of the ball. But when it mattered most for Highland Springs, big time plays and catches and passes, more importantly, by Jamari Jones. He also get it done on the ground, following his lead block around the right side. Touchdown, Highland Springs. The Springers would have a 27-21 lead. For 27-20, they would miss the extra point, but the defense was on point. The sack of Bobby Dunn. In the fourth quarter, Springer's defense did not budge. And then later, Dunn, his fourth interception of the day, and Verina is done. Not done when it comes to the playoffs, but done in this game. Springers win the turnover battle, and they win the game. 27, 20, 39 wins and counting. It was a, it was a big game, uh, and, and going into next week, it's going to be an even bigger game uh, because it's the first round of the playoffs, and it's kind of a win or go home thing. But if my estimation is correct, we'll be playing these guys a little bit around the corner here in the next couple weeks.